What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta check out Sammy Uso, the GOAT, by none other than uh Polana Productions, man. Uh Sammy, right now, he is doing, in my opinion, some of his best work in WWE, and it's more so on the story side of things. We know Sammy can go in the ring, we know he's capable of giving you a five-star match with the right opponent, but in my personal opinion character wise what they got him doing with the bloodline is really fantastic bro you cannot even like i guess you could say fathom it would be this good like if someone was to tell you months ago earlier this year Sami Zayn would be the most over person in the bloodline you wouldn't be able to fathom that like if someone told you that you would be like what are you talking about and he has. So I, I want to see what Polana has to say about Sami Zayn. Because honestly, man, he's just killing me right now, bro. But I appreciate all the love and support on the channel. And let's see what Polana has to say about the young goat himself. Sami Zayn joined the bloodline earlier this year. And I don't think anyone expected him to get so over with the group. Seriously, Sami Uso has become arguably the best thing about WWE right now. I'd even go as far as to say that prior to joining the group, the bloodline was getting a little boring and kind of repetitive. It seemed like they were doing the same thing each week with every storyline. And that is why I am I'm really liking what's happening here. He makes a very good point. They were getting boring. Well, I wouldn't say boring, but they were getting stale because we've seen this. We we weren't sure what they were going to do moving forward. Like, they seemed unstoppable. You added in the Sami Zayn element. You're not sure what's happening here. Is he playing the bloodline? Like, is he going to turn on them? And then you really start to buy in that he's trying to be, you know, a part of the bloodline. I, it, it started off as a joke. I mean, it's still kind of a joke, but they're taking it a little bit more seriously. And it, it was a nice needed, like, I guess a nice addition to what they had going on. Of course, being bringing in Solo helped as well. But Sammy right now has really freshened up the bloodline, in my opinion. And I think a lot of people's opinion. Roman Reigns would just beat the crap out of every opponent. I didn't have a problem with it, but others weren't enjoying it that much. Mm -hmm. Sami Zayn added so much life to the group. Yes, he did. There's so many different layers of storytelling now. The Usos serve a greater purpose as well. Before, they were kind of just Roman's, you know, minions doing his business. But now, Sami Zayn's feud with Jey Uso really lit things on fire. Jey Uso playing the untrusting character because of all the trauma he suffered during his Roman Reigns feud has been spot on. Mm -hmm. And Jimmy Uso needing to be a mediator is a good role for him. Sami Zayn's erotic character most likely destroying the group from within is working to perfection. And Roman Reigns being the evil boss he is of the group is the cherry on top. That segment on SmackDown the other day was gold. Just mm -hmm. look at this reaction by Roman Reigns. He literally had flashbacks of abusing Jey Uso. And he yeah, bro. That that was some great camera work. They timed that perfectly when he heard the line. I don't give a damn about no tribal chief. The zoom in on him when he initially heard that was so goddamn good, bro. They literally have made the group that was already you know at a high tier level even that much better because of what's going on within the group i can appreciate that anyways let's talk about why sammy uso works so well To put Sami Zayn in the top program seemed like a ludicrous idea. Mm -hmm. The entire purpose of the bloodline is that they are a family taking over the WWE. If you couldn't see, Sami Zayn is not a part of that bloodline. And yet, that's one of the reasons why this works so well. Sami Zayn not being a part of the family adds such an interesting and unique dynamic to the mm -hmm. group. Do they really trust him? Are they really falling for this master plan? Is there even a master plan? Or yeah. is Jay Uso just being extremely paranoid? Those are all of the unanswered questions. However, each week the answers slowly are unfolding right before our very eyes. To be honest, we've seen random wrestlers pop up in factions that seemed so bizarre but worked really well. 
A similar situation was Owen Hart when he joined mm. the Nation of Domination. I forgot all about that. That seemed very odd, but that randomness just made it much more interesting. There's something about a wrestler joining a group where he doesn't really fit in that catches our attention. I suppose that it's the fact that we get a totally new layer in the group. That isn't the only reason though. Another one is the character that Zayn has been portraying for the last few years. Sami Zayn is the biggest loser of all. Let's just call it how it is. <laughs> He's such a loser that just stuck around trying to suck the bloodline so badly that we really didn't expect him to even be accepted. You would have thought that he was going to get beat up by the faction months ago before yep. moving on from him. But the fact that the That's underdog what I was has proven happen. his loyalty and is officially in the group makes the journey so sweet. We are seeing the transformation. I think that's what makes it more enjoyable. Everyone watching it originally, like, bro, at some point, they're just going to brush him to the side. They're going to beat him up and move him along. But he's actually now being integrated with their group. That's what makes it so much more special, bro. Dead ass. That's what makes that. Because now it's like. Yo, he's actually a part of them, and now I actually care. I actually like that he's a part of them. It is such a crazy situation how this has turned into what it is now. Of Sami Zayn. From psychotic loser to a credible competitor, thanks to the bloodline. The man went from losing to Johnny Knoxville at WrestleMania to winning matches on SmackDown. The glow up is real. It is in our human nature to root for this loser to persevere through all yeah. of this nonsense. It gives us hope that things could get better. At least that's what I think. For that reason, we want to see him succeed even more. And those are two essential reasons why this storyline works so well, but it's not the most important one. The major reason for the success of this addition to the bloodline is Sami Zayn himself. Let mm. me explain. I don't think that this would have worked so well with anyone else. Sami right. Zayn is so good that it's unbelievable. The man understands how to perform comedy without making it corny, how to captivate the audience's attention, and how to tell a good story. <laughs> Sad to say, Sami Zayn is one of the best wrestlers in today's generation. I'd even say that he's a top five wrestler. Did he hit the Superman punch? I love it. I fucking love it, bro. I love it, bro. Has been since 2020. By the time his career is over, he's going to go down as one of the best in the business. Sami Zayn's work has always been impressive in the ring, but he's truly mastered the art of sports entertainment. Mm -hmm. And because of Sami Zayn's skills, he's been able to make this totally random storyline become the best thing about WWE. Facts. However, because of Sami's success with the bloodline, it has affected the company's plans moving forward. Love Sami Zayn has gotten extremely over with the WWE audience. Triple H reportedly decided to keep the storyline going for a longer time than it was intended to. Kevin Owens has seen less TV time because of this. Triple H put a pause on the plans for KO because he was supposed to get involved in this story a long time ago. Mm. According to Russell Votes, he was pet to get involved with Sami and the Bloodline, but that's white hot right now. Those plans for what I've been told are definitely pushed back, but they're not off. Because mm. the plan is for Kevin Owens to be with Sami Zayn. Uh, and we, we were seeing seeds of that. If you guys remember, we were seeing seeds of Kevin Owens talking to Sami. Like, bro, what's happening to you? They don't care about you. We were seeing those seeds, but then it just started getting even more over with the fans. So they're like, you know what? We're going to draw this out even more. And I think they're still going with that route. I think they're going with the Kevin Owens ultimately coming to help Sammy when Sammy realizes they're not his bloodline. They're not his family. They're going to turn on him at some point. And it's probably going to make him the most sympathetic baby face in the company. He's going to be ridiculously over. Kevin Owens is ridiculously over too. Kevin Owens will probably come back, try to help out. And they may go for the tag titles. And honestly, if it's me, if I'm booking the show, I have Sammy and I have I have Sammy, I have Kevin Owens win the titles, bro. At bro, I have you I have you I have them loot I have them drop the titles to them. It just makes sense. The crowd would go crazy. They would be the new tag champs, and then you can start having dissension within the bloodline. But Right now, it's super white hot, so I can see why they're continuing on the feud. Well, not feud, but the, this storyline. 
Russell Votes even went on to tell us that Sami Zayn's run with the faction was supposed to only last three weeks, saying, Whatever they had planned for Kevin Owens is totally on pause because this stuff with Sami doesn't come around often. They don't. This was supposed to be a little three, four week comedy deal and it's getting big. Huge. I'm going to assume that Sami Zayn was going to get kicked out of the group after a few weeks and that is when we would have probably seen Kevin Owens come to his aid and fight against them alongside his best friend, probably dethroning the Usos yes. in the WWE Tag Team Championships. But as I said before, Triple H didn't expect Sami Zayn's popularity to blow up the way it Keep did. it going. He Keep it going. It audible and wants to continue the story. It's That's how you fucking do it. You call an audible. You keep it going. Do not drop this until it is like fever pitch hot. And then you drop it. Then you, you go on with the plans. Then you have them turn on him. Have this big, big sequence Everybody is like just distraught. People are booing the hell out of it. And I mean, you beat the crap out of Sammy. I mean, it needs to be some, he he may have to miss some TV a couple of weeks type shit. And then that's when Kevin Owens says enough is enough. I'm getting involved. Let's fucking go. Oh, sign me up, bro. Sign me up. It seems like Kevin Owens is still going to come and help Sami Zayn, but that will happen at a later date. That is a good call, and I like that Hunter did that. He saw the real-time reactions and decided to change the script for the better because yes. of the potential of the story. Yes. Rather than cutting it short, he's going to keep it going, and that's a good call. So what should WWE do with the future of this storyline? I think the future of the storyline needs to have Sami Zayn destroy the bloodline from within. At least that's mm. one of the options. It should be a part of some wild master plan he's been working on for a year now since suffering that loss from Roman Reigns on an episode of SmackDown. And that, I do remember that episode. That would be, that's, that's pretty good. You could do that. You could literally play into the fact he just destroyed them from within. Maybe... They caught on, you know, they start to catch on, and then that's why they kick him out and all this other stuff. And that's when you can have Kevin Owens get involved because I really think Kevin Owens definitely needs to get involved in this because he has history with Roman, he has history with the bloodline. What better way to destroy the bloodline than people that actually have history with them? Because of that loss or sabotage the bloodline. championship, he made a vow to himself to obliterate the faction. And if WWE doesn't want to do that, they have so many different they, directions. They can go different to take route, routes with this. They can go down the route of Sami Zayn being completely embarrassed and kicked out of the group, even being bullied. That's when you insert Kevin Owens, as I said you earlier. You do that too. Mix. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn can have a long feud with the Usos and eventually win the belts from them. If WWE wants, as I said, they could have Sami Zayn slowly work on taking down the group one by one until Roman loses everyone and that would be the payoff. Because of him, they kicked out Jay. After they kicked out Jay, Jimmy chose his brother and now that Roman has no one, that is when Sami Zayn could reveal that this is exactly what he wanted. And if Triple H even wants, he could swerve everyone and have Sami Zayn be the one to dethrone Roman Reigns. I know, it's insane. Yeah. See what I did there? But you could get it done. Imagine Sami wins the Rumble match and Roman tells him to forfeit his opportunity only for Sami Zayn to disagree. That pop would go hard. Oh, and at yeah. WrestleMania, the ultimate underdog could end Roman's title reign. That would that be would crazy. Be one of the greatest feel-good moments of all time that would like i said there's so many uh, ideas i'm getting goosebumps I'm sure thinking about do, that it's going to be a blast because this is Sami Zayn, and everything he does is good shits anyways that is it for the video guys i'm not even gonna hold you i know a lot of people don't believe it i personally don't believe that he would beat roman but if the story fits and he's the most over guy i'm still on the cody rose being the guy but I will concede Cody Rose being the guy. I don't think it's time for Bray Wyatt yet. But Sami Zayn, if he was the one to orchestrate this and say, take down the bloodline from within, and he's the guy to get the job done, I promise you, I won't be mad. You want to know why? Because this would have been built up organically. Organically for months, he would be he would be the ultimate underdog, and people would be behind would be behind him. 
he would be the biggest star in the company. He's already got the he's already becoming the biggest guy in the company when it comes to popularity. He would be the biggest star. That's just my opinion. They actually have options here. I know people be like, oh, I don't know about Sammy, but Sammy could be the one to really start breaking down the bloodline because Roman's strength doesn't come actually from himself. The story has been told his strength comes from his family. That's why he needed his family. He needs them. He does. He he treats them like, like yeah, y'all blood to me, but he uses them. When you take away his family and he's all by himself, then you see what happens. You see what happens. You saw what happens with um uh, with um with Roman and uh and Seth. He really couldn't get the job done. He 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 caved. I, I love it. I love it. I'm, I'm I'm all for it. Comment down below. Let me know how do y'all feel about Sami Zayn potentially being the guy to dethrone Roman. Are you guys for that or do you guys not buy into that? Me personally, if this keeps going on the way it's going on right now and he keeps getting more over Call an audible, bro. I'm with it. The same thing I said with Daniel Bryan. When he became that over, I was like, you got to call an audible. He has to main event WrestleMania, and he has to win. Same here. If he gets, it continues to get that white hot reaction wherever he goes, he may be the guy, bro. He may be the guy to finally end Roman Reigns' title reign, and that would make Sami Zayn even more of a made man. I know some people won't don't see him as a main eventer. I I can, I can. God damn it! So, comment down below. Let me know if y'all feel like he should be the one to take down the bloodline and be the new head of the table or the ch champion in WWE. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel. Road to 100K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.